Howdy, Ms. Lillian. Uh, my name is Dan Harper. I'm a board certified family practitioner that has about 35,000 hours of ER experience and I'm involved in some uh, areas of environmental medicine as well as being on the board of Price Proctor Nutritional Foundation. I would like to show you our little meter. We've been talking about electromagnetic fields. This is the trimeter. You can get this on the internet for about 125 and it measures various electrical fields. Uh, I find this one to be most effective for the magnetic electromagnetic fields and it confirms some things that science is saying we need to be aware of. We found that anything above 0.5 microtesis uh, can cause leukemia, lymphomas, and that if you have chemotherapy being used to treat a cancer, anything above the 0.5 to 1 microtesla will create the chemotherapy resistance in the cancer. So I just want to show you some things. As we come over here next to a screen that people use, anything that's in the little red dots on the side, less than three, is considered safe by the American home standard. But whenever you start getting closer to this, it goes off the scale. The same way if we went down, down to the router below or to the uh, computer tower below, it will go off the meter and also. And what was it when we were just standing there in the center of the room? In the center of the room, it was below 0.5 and we'll get away from this and it'll come back down to almost one uh, mm -hmm. right there. Right there on the floor in the on middle the of the room. On the floor in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Far enough away from the fluorescent lights which will send it t as far as it will go or if we go over well, to the world's best air purifier. Could, uh, I want, yeah, there we go. No, pointed more, yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. And if we go over here to the, one of the world's best air purifiers you think that this is wonderful, you put it in your kid's room if they have asthma, it gets particulates down to 0.003 microns, and then when you start moving closer to it, the electromagnetic fields generated by the alternate oh current of the motor will send it mm -hmm. off the wall. This will interfere with the child's delta waves so they are unable to sleep at night. It will interfere with the production of melatonin, which helps prevent certain cancers. You can also come over here to the routers or into the electrical plug outlets right here. It is going to create a high energy field. You get further away from it, it goes down, start coming back. And so if you have your head or your bed next to the wall with a lot of electrical outlets or close to the uh, circuit panels on the other side, you will have created a significant electromagnetic field, increasing the risk of all types of cancers cardiovascular disease, stroke, autoimmunity, all kinds of things because you interrupt the cell membrane function as well as damaging the DNA uh, and causing inflammatory chemicals to be made throughout the cytoplasm that affect the cell's function. Now these electromagnetic fields uh, have an effect upon us because we are a biological battery. As our mitochondria produce energy in our heart, every time our heart beats, it creates What is mitochondria? Field. The mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. They take in the glucose that comes in through the cell membrane and goes into these little organelles that are donated to us by our gut flora, our good gut flora, and it starts producing uh, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, in the Krebs cycle inside the mitochondria. Mm -hmm. Glucose and oxygen go through this little Ferris wheel and out comes 38 molecules of ATP plus carbon dioxide and water. Mm -hmm. And then we get rid of the carbon dioxide, we get rid of the water, carbon dioxide through the lungs, water through the kidneys, and we start the whole process over again. We eat and we pee and we breathe. Uh, we have energy that leaves in triphosphate and our brain has 400,000 mitochondria per cell and that produces our EEGs that we have. And so our brain produces more energy than any other tissue in our body. It goes through the nerves, our heart next most, it has 40,000, our muscle only has 2,000 per cell. And so we are an energy. And so when you get next to somebody that's got good energy with yours, mm -hmm. you guys bless each other. You hold a pet that loves you. It will give you some of its energy. It will give you life. That's why you can't afford to be around negative people that drain you mm -hmm. and suck you. Mm -hmm. And you can't be around negative environments like these guys and this guy and cell phone to your brain. It will deplete your brain's injury. It shuts down the cell membrane and nutrients can't get in and toxins can't get out. A five minute phone call will cause damage. Now, a ten minute phone call will cause irreversible damage and cause cell death. You will destroy brain stem cells and you will cut down on cognitive function. Doctor, I want to uh, interrupt for a second because you told me a few minutes ago something that was disturbing and that's that San Diego has the 
second highest uh, amount of this type of EMF radiation, just followed by Washington, D.C.? That is correct. And you also said that uh, all the uh, positive uh, energy that we get from loving our pets or being having a spouse that we love, um, meditation, all of that is compromised by this EMF ra radiation. The EMF perverse electromagnetic fields closes down the glycoprotein on our cell membranes and we cannot continue to bring in enough nutrients to continue to produce energy. When that energy goes down, we go down, our health go down, it affects everything. And even if you're with a positive person, if both of you are talking on a cell phone, your biological batteries are being depleted. If you're in a room where somebody's playing Wi-Fi games and they have routers and sending that information to the game or routers for computers, you're being blasted. Or if SDG&E has a smart meter, you're being blasted by those radio waves and the Wi-Fi boosters that uh, the different companies are putting out or the cell phone towers that's radiating you and it's destroying or damaging your tissues and it is draining you constantly. You go to bed tired, you wake up tired and if you're close to a cell phone tower you may never even get to sleep that night because it's destroying your cells that make melatonin in your brain and you can't heal. With low melatonin, higher risk of breast cancer, prostate cancer, other estrogen and dominant cancers, you lose your protection. It's bad news to be near a cell phone tower or a Wi-Fi booster or to have your router going when you're not using it. Turn the thing off when you're not using it. Mm -hmm. Turn off and unplug the electrical things when they aren't using it because they are damaging your body. Get a speaker phone and get this thing away from you. Use a landlocked line whenever possible. I recommend getting a beeper for people who are sensitive or already have their cancers from it and, and then get the message and make the call or just have the cell phone for emergencies. Turn it on, dial 911, turn it off. You don't want that negative energy broadcasting as you get further away from the tower blasting your body. And one of those little Bluetooth things, triple the amount of negative energy coming into your body. It is really, really toxic. Is, so excuse to, me, is the beeper, uh, do you get the EMF from the beeper? What kind the of beeper is just a receiver. It's okay. not broadcasting at all. Okay. And so it will not hurt you in terms of uh, receiving that. Okay. And so uh, it's a very, very safe thing to be carrying for you. you know, all you have is the direct current from the battery, but the cell phone is just generating microwave and that's a very very toxic the Russians back in the 70s said no can use microwave except for military use no yeah. you know so they have satellite phones instead of having uh, cell phones allowed in there and uh, you had also mentioned um, that you think because the amount of technology we have that we're going to be coming a a generation that's got pre-senile dementia being cared for by a younger generation that's going to be plagued with a uh, brain cancer. Brain cancer. That's right. Using cell phones causes damage. It causes an increased amyloid production, damaged DNA, proteins, and things in the brain so that there has been significantly increased incidence of Alzheimer's in people who use cell phones or around the magnetic energy of cell phones. And the younger generation is using it so much that they have allowed chemicals to come into their brains and then the damage, the amount of time that they spend on it, it is destroy the blood-brain barrier and all these chemicals that are in our environment are setting up a situation where cancer is forming. The microwaves themselves damage the DNA and it causes overexpression of what's called oncogenes. Proteins, when, when they're expressed uh, on the DNA, will result in chemicals that create cancers or cause the cancers to mutate faster and grow faster. And so we will have brain cancers uh, skyrocket. Sometimes this doesn't show up for 10, 15, sometimes even 30 years, mm -hmm. but it is coming and we'll have the evidence-based medical studies they're asking for in 20 to 30 years, but it's like sitting and watching tobacco for 40 years before they finally put the warning labels on it. They will put warning labels on cell phones and that will probably be it. They will let people use it at their own risk. Mm -hmm. They will not take it off the market. If they'd done studies beforehand, they would have known never to let this technology get on the market to begin with. Okay, doctor, I want to, uh, we're running out of time. Um, what, how many, um, you are uh, both family medicine and emergency medicine you practiced. Yes. In what states? Uh, I, California? I'm, I have a license here in California and in Arizona, and I've had license recently, Montana, Wyoming, Oregon, Texas. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to uh, present your qualifications. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome.